does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need truth can be stated in a thousand different ways yet each one can be true truth can be stated in a thousand different ways yet each one can be true you can even go a step ahead and say truth must always be stated in a thousand different ways vivekanand has been a little too liberal upon us he has just said that truth can be stated in a thousand ways truth must be stated in a thousand ways because the truth is fundamentally nothing a statement of truth is just any statement arising from your pure nothingness that nothingness has no agenda of its own it only seeks expression and the expression is always according to the situation and because the world is always in a flux so two situations are never the same which means one expression of truth can never never be the same as another another expression that means not only truth can be stated in a thousand ways truth will necessarily be stated in a thousand ways which means that even if one is talking on something in this moment and the same topic and the same audience repeats itself an hour later the talk is bound to be different which means that the truth is not going to follow even itself <coughs> truth is such a rebel truth is such a non conformist one statement of truth is never going to be identical to the next statement in fact there are chances that one statement of truth can in fact contradict another statement of truth so those who are looking for conformity or continuity or consistency are always going to be disappointed in one situation you state it in one way in another situation it emerges in another way because the truth fundamentally is an openness an emptiness a nothingness a cleanliness truth is like a mirror hmm? a well polished clean shining mirror in one moment because the situation is white the mirror will reflect white other moment the situation is black the mirror will reflect black that is how the truth is neither it has to add something on its own nor does it have to subtract anything on its own it just reflects are you getting it hmm? so generally the statements which are uh, which you call as a statement of truth they are generally presented to us as facts sometimes so i mean are in the sense truth? in the sense that they don't have opposites uh, no i uh, know they might have opposites but uh, no, they i want definitely to... have opposites okay. you see i want to what will be the difference between fact and truth is there a difference fact is one thing hmm. Hmm? and the opposite of a fact will not be a fact but the opposite of truth <coughs> would again be truth it is a fact that you are sitting here then it cannot be a fact that you are present on the terrace at this moment hmm? but it is true 
that you are nothing and it is equally true that you are everything. Truth contains within itself its own opposite also because nothing lies outside of it. Fact is always a fragment, a littleness, <coughs> observable through senses. Fact is always something that you can express within the finite limits of language. Fact is always about something little. Truth is neither perceivable through the senses, nor is it about something little, nor does it have an opposite, nor does it get contradicted or offended. In fact, when you say the truth, there can be no statement of the truth. You can only have statements arising from the truth. And when you are in the truth, then any and every statement arising from you is a statement of truth. It could be the most nonsensical and meaningless statement and yet it would be a statement of truth. Seated in the truth, Lovingly, you just utter something senseless to someone. It is the highest truth. You might say something which is not even within the comprehension of language. It is still the truth. The devotee says to his God, you are my Lord, true. He next says, you are my father, true. He next says, you are my husband, true. Next says, you are my friend, true. Next he says, you are nobody, true. Next he says you are Abrahadabra. That is also true. Seated in the truth, whatever comes out from you is the truth. And that is why truth is not verifiable. Because that statement in itself is meaningless. What matters is where that statement came from. The same statement coming from one center is a statement of truth. The same statement coming from another center is the ugliest deception. Your basic simplicity, innocence is truth. From there, just casually, effortlessly, do whatever you want to do. Whatever you do would be an action of truth. Whatever you say would be a statement of truth. Hmm? The truth really cannot be contained in any statement, but an infinite number of statements will emerge from the truth. No one statement can have monopoly over the truth. Every single possible conceivable statement can be a statement of truth provided it is coming from your inner peace. Arising from your peace, whatever you say is the inner truth. truth. Sir Prasad wants to ask, without knowing the fact, how can we decide what is true? You do not decide what is truth. <laughs> you limit yourself to facts. And that is 
a nice thing that you are talking of. Do go into the facts as clearly and as honestly as possible. Hmm? You leave the truth to itself. You do not burden yourself about judging the truth. The truth is anyway harassed with too many judges. You need not add one more. Limit yourself to facts. Look at the facts around you and look at the facts of your own life. Honestly, ruthlessly and at the same time with compassion. Being ruthless does not mean being violent. It only means being detached. Very, very sharply, very purely, without any adulteration, know what you are, how your life is like, what is really going on. That is called living in facts. If you do not live in facts, then you will live in fancies, imaginations. That will hurt. You may keep imagining that you are walking on a beautifully paved road. But if there is a pothole in front of you, imaginations will not save you it will hurt. So, learn to live in facts. If you are living in facts, the truth will take care of you. In fact, unless the truth is taking care of you, you will find it difficult to live in facts. Hmm? Limit yourself to facts. Just don't think of the truth. Leave the truth to itself. Don't bug it. You must have nothing to do with the truth at all. The truth is not at all your business. Don't bother about the truth. Hmm? 